Can you use it? You guys can control that. Oh. How do we do that? Yeah. Just turn that little circle down on the radio. Hey man, it's Adam from Team Jesus Preachers here. I just wanted to um, do a quick video. We're actually heading. Uh, I'm with Brother Joseph here. I'm in Montreal. Joseph is driving this uh, limousine. He uh, owns a limousine um, uh, taxi company here. We weren't planning on being in, in a limousine today. I thank God he wanted to treat us. <laughs> Joseph's other vehicle got broke down, and uh, you know he, he had no other way to, to transport us to the preach today, so <laughs> we're riding a limo. I just think God, is uh, he's got a sense of humor. So um, here's uh, my wife in the back. We got brother uh, Kevin, right? I said your name right, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm thinking, man, I, brother Kevin here. Uh, you know, he reached out on the YouTube channel. I'm going to get his testimonial. Actually, we'll, we'll get, what we'll, I have to introduce everybody. Maybe you can share your testimony. It's a good time. And then his father doesn't speak much English, but this is uh, Jean Wee, right? Yes. Jean Wee, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Praise God. So we're on our way to. Um, we've had a great trip here, in Montreal. Uh, this is our my third time in Montreal. God uh, hooked me up with brother Joseph. Uh, he can't talk too much because he's driving. You can see him up there. Joseph's testimony is on my channel. Um, uh, I think it's a Lebanese uh, man finds Jesus or something, but you can see that. But Joseph is a blessed brother, and he, there's a work God is doing here in this area. So please pray for Montreal. Pray for Joseph, Kevin, all these brothers here. Um, God sent us back here. We've just been led by the Spirit ever since we got off the plane. Uh, we preached yesterday uh, downtown, and it was amazing. And we'll put some testimonies up on that. To, uh, a couple prayed for salvation. There was actually a French lady that joined up with us, a Christian lady, and she uh, she was helping us to minister. She prayed with this young French couple. Uh, another man named uh, Joseph was out with us, and an encouragement, and you know, seeking the Lord. So it's been a manifold work. We're actually headed right now to. Uh, we're gonna have dinner and we're gonna have like a church meeting with Joseph and his uh, his uh, crew of guys that are available, and we're gonna do a little uh, we'll do a little uh, live stream, you know, word when we get there. But right now, I'd like to actually give uh, Kevin a chance to share his testimony. This is powerful, uh, you know, and so I want you to be encouraged by it. So here's Kevin. Um, so Kevin, just share what you told me. Uh, what happened here? Yes. I, uh, so uh, as I was uh, telling you yesterday. Uh, me, uh, when I was young, I was, I was a very normal child, you know, uh, I wasn't uh, any kind of uh, troubled child, uh, I used to go to school, uh, I was actually doing very well in school, uh, I was always doing well in sports too, so uh, I didn't have any trouble when I was young, um, recently I graduated uh, in pharmacy, so uh, I, uh, I will start working in that uh, uh, area uh, and uh, I always was a Catholic my father also was a Catholic uh, and all my family um, so uh, I used to go to church sometimes when I felt like it uh, usually it was when I felt guilty so I used to go like maybe once uh, every month or once every two months something like that uh, so that was basically it when I was younger and uh, what happened is uh, that uh, my parents, uh, they got divorced, uh, it's been four years, uh, three to four years, yeah, four years. Uh, and when that happen uh, happened, uh, we had a lot of uh, problems in the family, uh, a lot of uh, evil spirits, you know, uh, there was a, a big, it was a really messed up. So uh, my dad, uh, he moved away from the house uh, and uh, I stayed with my mother. Uh, at home and with my uh, brother and my two sisters so uh, the first year I didn't see my dad too much I used to go sometimes to his place but uh, not that much uh, but uh, something like drawn me away uh, to uh, draw, draw me to, to his place so I used to go more and more to my dad's place uh, and I saw that uh, the word the, the, the Lord uh, did something in, in his life Mm. Because uh, he was always listening to the word, uh, always praying, he was always talking to me about the word. So it was kind of interesting because he didn't used to do this uh, before. I knew he was always a Christian and all of this, but it wasn't. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't born again. So uh, that's when I really started to seek it by, by myself. At first, it was sometimes. Uh, sometimes I used to to to, to 
see some videos or read the Bible. Or I used to go again to the Catholic Church. But recently, I, I would say like oof, one year away from now, I really started to get involved uh, in this. Um, me, I was always a guy that uh, I used to go a lot uh, uh, the nightlife. I used to, to go out a lot with my friends. Um, I used to, to commit a lot of sins, sexual sins with my girlfriend, fornication and all of that. Uh, porn was also, uh, for me, it was a big trouble. Uh, I used to do it like almost every day, uh, I would say. Uh, so all kinds of sins. I, ne I never got drunk, I never smoked, but I used to do a, a, a bunch of other sins. Uh, I was a, a big fan of soccer, a big idolater of soccer. Uh, I used to watch every game, to know every statistic of every player. Like I was really in in this. So I used to I used to go to to be very uh, to do a lot of sins. So when I start reading the word, uh, little by little, uh, I started to discover what uh, it was really about because I didn't know before. Uh, so uh, I that's when I learned about repentance mm. uh, and all of this. And uh, when I started, because I was always, even when before, I was always interested uh, in the all kind of debates, you know, videos, Christian versus Muslims, things mm. like that. And that's when I saw uh, Haddon's video of uh, Team Jesus Preachers. So I looked it up and it was really interesting. I liked the way how he preached and I, uh, I learned a lot. Uh, so I started listening to this. Uh, I started listening to a lot of uh, street preachers also. Um, and little by little, that's all I was doing uh, every day. So I was watching this every day, reading the, the word, uh, watching a lot of videos about this. So, um, But I was still ignorant. I didn't know what I was doing really, but I felt that something was changing and I felt that something was drawing me to the word uh, of God. Um, so. Uh, two months, uh, I think it was, yeah, the first May of 2018, that's when I took really the decision to give my life to the Lord. I actually uh, wrote it on a piece of paper. Uh, so that's that's the, 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 the day that I really decided that today, like, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make everything to sacrifice what I, I I don't have to do and to please the Lord. So it when when I did that, you know, all the desire it didn't go away instantly, but I felt that something uh, happened mm -hmm. because me what I really wanted to 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 get away with my life it was porn. I, I wanted to stop this. Yes. Uh, it was really getting uh, out of reach, you know. Uh, I couldn't resist. Uh, I, w I used to do it every day. So yeah. that's when I I tell my, I told myself like I, I I have to stop. I have to change. I cannot live like like this anymore every day. So I did this. I reached to Adam. So we had a great phone conversation. Adam uh, hooked me up with uh, Joseph. Uh, and I, I woke up with Joseph also, it was amazing because Joseph, uh, he introduced me to the brothers, uh, his fellowship. So uh, I'm uh, going uh, every Thursday, it's been like two months, it's been amazing. So uh, it's amazing how it happened because uh, Adam planned uh, his uh, trip to Montreal mm. just two months before I, I wrote him the message. So, seems like it was all planned up that by the Lord so now we uh, I, I met him uh, and his wife so I'm really really thankful for this and uh, since I did that you know I I uh, I, I wrote I, I read the word every day I listened to, to preaching a lot and the word the, the Lord uh, he has taken the desire of sin away completely from me so uh, I could testify today that I like I don't listen to worldly music anymore. I used to, to, to listen a lot to rap music, hip hop, all kind of uh, garbage. So uh, I don't listen to this anymore. I don't have the desire to, to listen any, uh, to this anymore. Sports, I, I, I still watch sports, but I'm, I'm not getting as excited as before. I watched the, uh, now it's the World Cup, so I watch it, but if I miss a game, I don't, I don't care, you know. Mm. Uh, before I used to do everything to watch the game that I had to watch. So the desire has gone away. Uh, I've stopped uh, also with all sexual sh uh, sins, you know, 
fornicating. Oh, it was uh, really difficult for me, but uh, me and my girlfriend, uh, it was a decision that we, we took together. I told them that uh, I told her that uh, I have to follow the Lord, and that's that's what He requires from me. So she she accepted. She's not a Christian, but she's really open to it, to to, to the Word. So I try to minister to her uh, whenever mm. I can and uh, talk to her about this. And I'm really thankful that uh, she's really open, and she uh, hopefully the Lord is gonna call her just like she she called me. Yeah. So I've stopped with this. Uh, uh, porn was a little bit more difficult, but. Uh, Honestly, I can deliver it. It's it's a battle every day, uh, but I really feel that the desire has gone away uh, uh, from before. Uh, like I told you, I used to do it every day, and uh, now maybe sometimes I fall, but I say it's like once every two, one week or two weeks. So, and I pray for this. This is the, the big sin that I want to get away. Yes. So I'm, uh, I'm 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 continuously praying for this every day. And I ask you to pray for me also for this because yes. that's the thing that I want to, to get clean. But it, uh, it's going to look better. Um, the you know uh, actually all the sins that used to to take my life away, I've been reading, as I could say. And now I I'm really passionate about the Lord. You know and that's what I do every day. Uh, soon I'll be starting to work in a pharmacy as a pharmacist. So I plan to evangelize also with the patients. You know, uh, every day I will, uh, I'm going to see uh, uh, sick people. So I plan to do this uh, if the Lord called me to do to do this. So pray for me also for that. And uh, you know, that's it. Uh, I think I'm, uh, the Lord has done an amazing thing for me in a sh short amount of time. You know, uh, and people think that all the young people here in this world all just want to live to have fun or to, uh, to, to, to make uh, uh, whatever they want but it, it's really not true so uh, even Joseph can testify there's a lot of young people uh, at the fellowship uh, they love the Lord the, the Lord also and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people like this uh, in, uh, in Montreal so, uh, that's it. praise God so I uh, lastly just share about the experience yesterday on the streets what you thought about thought about the, the open air and the evangelism ministry yeah uh, actually for me it was my first time uh, going out uh, for street preaching so I was, I was kind of nervous but I was also very excited because I used to watch Adams preaching like every day and other street preachers so I wanted to uh, experience it uh, by myself and honestly it was truly a blessing uh, it was amazing uh, song people uh, I even saw two people repenting repenting you know they were they were crying and what was cra crazy is that uh, they repent uh, with a lady that we met at this specific <laughs> place and she was testifying to, to those two people and they repent and we, we pray for them at the, at, at the place which was really amazing. Uh, I saw that there was a lot of people listening, uh, convicted I'm sure. Uh, we had uh, some trouble in the beginning with the cops but the Lord uh, made, made sure that we could uh, share the word and it was really really a blessing you know uh, I, I've never felt like this before seeing people repent you know as Jesus said there's more joy uh, in heaven for one sinner that repent than uh, 99 uh, just people and uh, I have nothing uh, but really really a blessing and uh, I plan to do this again uh, for sure. Well praise God what a, what a great testimony Kevin just shared uh, you know I get so excited seeing the Lord uh, pour out his grace and favor and blessing of Christ you know on uh, young men who answer the call you know faith and obedience you know it's it's just it's just beautiful you know uh, the testimony uh, of God is sure making wise the simple and you know and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony they did not love their lives to the death as the word says and so pray for Kevin as he uh, fights a good fight and especially course with the things he mentioned uh, the pornography is a big one you know nowadays and uh, you know uh, so, so we just need to pray for uh, that people would have that holy fear of God and the comfort of the Holy Spirit that revelation of God's grace of course so that they would uh, have the desire crucified and uh, they would have understanding of of what these things are you know the the, the realm the spiritual realm that is that is uh, happening 
that's what we need so that we can have uh, a clearer picture of the battle between good and evil and these things that the word talks about anyway so I wanted to share this too because this is great you know uh, Ezekiel 18 I'm working on this passage um, you know it says when a wicked man turns from all his sins which he has committed and keeps all my statutes and does what is lawful and right it says that he shall surely live he shall not die it says that um, none of the transgressions which he has committed shall be uh, shall be held against him but because of the righteousness which he has done he shall live do I have any pleasure at all that the wicked should die says the Lord God but not that he should turn from his ways and live you know so God is actually uh, you know, pouring out grace, pouring out, uh, you know, these things so that the wicked would be able to turn from the, all his transgressions and do what is lawful and right and keep all his statutes so that none of his wickedness, none of his transgressions shall be held against him. That's good news. That's the power of the blood of Jesus. That's, that's uh, you, know, you know, the Holy Spirit cleansing our hearts. You know, so I love seeing this in action because this is the palm of God. God has mercy on whom he will have mercy. You know, and he hardens whom he hardens. So don't let your heart be hardened. <laughs> let it be broken so that you might receive mercy and you might have, you know, this this blessing that Ezekiel is talking about where your, your, your slate is clean and, uh, you know, you're going on to uh, sanctification. So God bless you guys. We're going to be back on in a little bit here once we get to the restaurant. We're just uh, on the way. Have Kevin share his testimony. Uh, please keep us in prayer for uh, tonight, too, because we're going to be ministering on the streets of Montreal. And, um, you know, so amen. We'll be back in touch and uh, with you soon. God bless.